Okay, so apparently some people have been having a lot of trouble with the last two centers on a 7x7, or even a 6x6. Um, big cube centers, I'm not going to lie, they are a bit of a trick to get your head around. Um, but there is there is sort of a method that I use, and it's quite reliable, and it's quite quick, which is important to speed solving, obviously. Um, and, uh, and I'll show it to you. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll start showing you on the 5x5, though, just because it's... Um, it's a lot less confusing. So there's a really cool commutator that you can use that'll make solving centers on any cube um, super easy. Basically what this commutator does is it switches around center pieces. Any pieces within the, you know, within, that aren't edges or corners. So like on, on a 7x7 you can switch any of these pieces with like another color. So I'll show you exactly how it works. Um, this is what it looks like quickly. And you can see we quite effectively switched these two pieces. Okay, so how do you use it? Well, basically, if you have a situation like this, um, where everything is pretty good and you just want to switch these two pieces, what you're going to want to do is line them up so that you're going to replace one with the other in one move. So, like, I can move this up there right to where the green piece was and that's one move. So just line them up and then move this up, swap the top to a different column, move that slice up, bring the top back, bring the slice down, bring the top back to the right, and move this slice down. So I'll show you that again, but for like an, an edge this time, I guess. So again, line them up so that you can replace one with the other in one move. Do so by moving the slice up. Move the piece into another column. Move that slice up. Bring it back. Move the slice down. Bring it back again. And move the second slice down. One more time. And this is something a lot of people don't know about this algorithm, or this commutator, is that you can actually switch more than one piece at a time. Line them up. Replace one with the other. Bring it into a different column. Move that up. Bring it back. Move these, these slices down. Bring it back. Move this slice down. So that's pretty simple. Um, and, and the beauty of it is that it doesn't affect anything else at all on the cube. Like you would have noticed that um, the edges are all fine. All it does is switch is the two pieces that you're looking at, which is amazing. There are not many um, there are not many algorithms or commutators that'll actually do that for you. So well actually that's the point of commutators, so I shouldn't say that. So how about on the seven by seven? Okay, so here's a fairly realistic case on the seven by seven where you're looking at the last two centers. Um, obviously, the other four centers are done, and these are not hard at all, so I won't go into detail of those. Um, really, we're just looking at the last two centers. And I'll admit, I did have some problems with this too when I started 7x7, but quite easy, especially when you know that commutator. Now, obviously, we don't want to have to do every individual piece with that commutator, because it would take forever, seriously forever. So. What we're going to do instead is try to minimize what we have to do. I know that the top is supposed to be blue because it has the blue center, and the front is supposed to be orange because it has the orange center. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else is try to get most, or get all the orange pieces into the orange face that I can. Now, basically, you're just doing what you would normally. Um, you know you're not going to get all of them, but you're going to try anyway, just because, well, you'll see what I mean. So I got this strip of three, and I got nothing down here, so let's try um, moving that, and that'll come back into the top layer here. So bring those three down, and we end up bringing one up, so that's, uh, that's kind of working in our favor here. How about this rule of three here? We're bringing three oranges down. We're only bringing one back up, so that's pretty cool. Um, 
there's a row of three here. Oops. Bring three oranges down. And only one up. Hey, wow, what a coincidence. Okay. And now we got this lovely row here. So, um, well, there's not much I can do with that, actually. Oh, sure, there is. We're bringing four down. And we're bringing three back up. So that kind of helped a little bit, I guess. Okay, now at this point, um, that's about as good as I can get with my limited knowledge of 7x7. Seven seven. So I am going to start using the commutator. And the first thing I see is this pair here, which would like to go to this uh, blue pair here, which is easy to do with that commutator. You replace one with the other, so I'm going to replace these two with these two. Move it into a different, sl into a different column. Bring the slice up. Move it back. Bring these slices down, bring this back, and bring this column down as well. Next, how about this corner? That's easy. Up, right, up, left, down, right, down. That's pretty easy. Um, this guy and this guy, we can get them at the same time. Um, hopefully you can follow this. I'm going to switch this, these two pieces at the same time because they both line up at once. So bring that up, move it, bring up this column and this column, getting tricky, bring it back, this down, and this down, and this down. And now we just got one left. This piece and this piece, which is easy. That up, left, this up, right, down, left, oops, down. So unfortunately it takes a long time to do this so I can't give you another example but um, hopefully this will help you out. Um, if you are still confused I will give you the link in the description to where I actually got this comic seater from. He explains it very well and um, Hopefully this helped you out a lot. This is how I do all my centers, except for the 5x5, five five, because the 5x5 five five is pretty easy. And um, But for really big cubes, 7x7 seven seven and bigger, like on Gavisoft, you're going to want to know how to do this. So I thought I'd give you that, um, give you that commutator and uh, show you how to use it, and hopefully this will help you for all of your big centers.